A club in Los Angeles wants to show you how to become a successful real estate investor. John Caddis Klimak talked with the founder today who said she makes home buys an investor's dream. Phyllis Rockauer is the founder of the Real Estate Investors Club of LA. Tony is one of her students. I left my cabinets in place because they were in pretty good condition. This is a finished home in South LA. Tony says opened escrow today. By his calculation, he'll make more than a hundred grand at closing. Yes, sir. Tony Usher ushered us into his latest project. He says he bought this house in a short sale for two hundred thirty-two thousand dollars. He plans to do eighty thousand in renovations. I'm going to rehab the whole house and expects to sell the 2,200 square foot home in the Adams District for more than $500,000. In most areas, real estate companies say the housing market is starting to cool off. Interest rates remain lower than a decade ago, hovering around 4.5%, but inventory is low, which could be the mix that makes millions for investors. That's even better right now because the inventory is so small. Real estate's about math. It's only about math. You, it, the numbers have to work. If the numbers don't work, you're fooling yourself. In South L.A., John Caddy's Klimak, NBC4 News. Now there are a growing number of investment clubs focusing on putting their money in the real estate market. CNBC's Jane Wells came across one of those clubs in Los Angeles. She joins us now with the story. Jane. Hey, Bill, yes. One of the biggest such clubs is right here in L.A., started by a woman who moved here at the bottom of the market in the 90s, determined to profit from the comeback. L.A. Real Estate Investment Club President Phyllis Rockauer has taken us through the ebb and flow of the market over the last few years. She says it's only going to get worse, and she plans to profit from it. It's a practice that many call flipping, but consumer specialist Rick Romero explains if you're looking for easy money, be forewarned. Rick. Phyllis Rockauer has been buying and selling homes for almost 20 years. She bought this 750 square foot home in Long Beach seven years ago for $45,000. She just sold it for $280,000. But if you think that you're going to buy a property and hold it for a year or two and make money, that's where you're going to be in trouble. Phyllis's strategy is to buy and sell older, smaller, lower priced homes. And even when she buys in a rough neighborhood, she doesn't worry about vandalism. She first goes up to whoever is in charge and says, So here's a couple hundred dollars cash. I want you to keep an eye on my property and make sure there's no trouble. And when I sell the property, if it's, there's been no vandalism, there's $500 more in cash. Joining us now, Phyllis Rockhauer. She's president and founder of the Real Estate Investment Club of Los Angeles. Hi, Phyllis. Tell me why you know better than anyone right now. Well, I've been doing this. Uh, I moved here in, uh, L to L.A. in 96 at the bottom of the market, and I knew what it was like then. I see what has happened. And I've been doing this for almost 20 years now, and I've seen booms and busts, but I've never seen anything like this. How do I make money in this, in this situation? I mean, say I, I'm, I'm ready, I've got some capital, and I do want to play the real estate game. It's, you have to be, you have to buy below market. There's no such thing as speculators. You know, the same thing is true in real estate is true in, the, in uh, the stock market. Bulls make money, bears make money, and pigs make nothing. Okay, so if I'm saying, is there a bubble that's about to burst, and I give you multiple choice, and I say, no, maybe, you bet, what's your answer? The answer is you bet, but it doesn't really r burst. Real estate doesn't burst. It right, just right, goes right. down painfully slowly and then unfortunately stays at the bottom for a while. It's cyclical. Phyllis, let me bring you in here. Investment Club of Los Angeles, first for those out there watching, does that mean that you are actively scouring the California market uh, looking for homes to buy? Absolutely. Um, you can always buy for houses and make money in any market, but you just have to be pretty careful. You have to know where things are headed, and if they're going down, how far are they going down, and just take that into consideration when you make your offer. The best idea right now, Phyllis, would you buy in California today? You, are you waiting as you said Absolutely. A few yeah, absolutely. If you can get a really good rate, and I mean a 50% loan to value, and true value, not That's comps good. that are three or four months old, you have to be really sure the whole thing is being sure of what value is. This is the market that everybody's been dreaming about. Cheap money, cheap prices. At the same time, that never happens. So if you're not getting the market now, I don't know. Maybe you're out to lunch somewhere. So. All right, Barbara, <laughs> Phyllis. Thanks very much to both of you. People think that the adjustable rate mortgages only they'll they'll only get hurt if the rates go up. Are they safe otherwise? Well, you say of no. Of course not, because you know most of these people took these teaser ridiculous one point five you know fixed until the ink dries on the paper, and and they do anything. They're so desperate. They're, they'll do anything to get in. Flipping. Can you imagine? Appears to be back with new tricks. CNBC's Jane Wells joins us live from Compton, California, with the story. Jane, what's going on here? Well, and it's going to have to be torn down. She's back. This is not legal. 
Phyllis Rockauer, flipper of ugly houses. This is ugly. Oh, uh, this is ugly. Yeah, not the ugliest one I've ever been in, but it's ugly. Rewind five years ago. In 2005, Phyllis Rockauer was buying, but by the end of that year, I sold all my properties. She predicted dark days that by 2010, California would see something terrible. It's going to be 90,000, 90,000 foreclosures, a new record. In California? In California, that it's going to be really scary. Actually, it's 136,000 foreclosures and counting this year. But Rockauer is back trolling Compton for deal. Jane Wells is looking at an old strategy that is resurfacing for investors. Mandy, I'm in Compton. This is a HUD foreclosure which is up for auction online and probably a little too pretty for Phyllis Rockauer. Rockauer is a veteran fixer and flipper of what she calls ugly homes, like this one at another location in Compton. She got out of house flipping entirely in 2005 but is now on the hunt again. You've got to get the place cleaned up to the outside first. Veteran house flipper Phyllis Rockauer is back in Compton. She's helping Jin Sung flip this house he bought for 110 grand. It was once valued at 420,000 during the bubble. Rockauer says Compton is heating up in part due to foreign investors. Since I started, they're up like 25 percent, easy, easy. And Phyllis Rockauer says, don't overprice your home in this seller's market. It may not sell at all, and if the market drops, well. You may have lost a big opportunity. Phyllis, uh, keep, us, uh, keep us honest here. We appreciate it. We'll have you back on. Thank you. You're welcome. I'd like you to come back. Okay, keep thank you. Posted. I can talk forever about real estate. <laughs> really? <laughs> I'm amazed to hear that. Now, Phyllis, it's a pleasure. Um, Phyllis says the best advice is you got to get educated, find a mentor, be diligent. In other words, you have to work hard like anything else. Bubble schmubble bill. Right now on the blog, funnybusiness.cbc.com, Rock Hour explains the new rules, new ways of getting around them, and the one mistake Mandy she made sitting out over the last few years.